and welcome to Pirate News. I'm Megan Gonzalez. And I'm Christian Castillo. In today's newscast, we will discuss upcoming Seton Hall events and your five-day work forecast. Join the Philosophy Department and the Dean's Office of the College of Communication and the Arts as they present the next lecture in the Philosophers Speak Lecture Series, Literature, the Emotions, and Learning. This lecture will feature Dr. Noel Carroll, a professor of philosophy at the Graduate Center, City University of New York. The lecture will be held today from 5 to 6.15 in the Chancellor Suite of the University Center. Seton Hall Giving Day, which started yesterday at noon, continues until noon today. This 24-hour event will transform students into insightful leaders who can make a powerful impact on Seton Hall's upward trajectory. Gifts of any amount can help support this day in any part of SHU, from athletics to mission to missionary or even from your specific school. Already, there has been one generous alumni who has pledged $50,000 to help our student give even more back to their students. You can document this Joyce, Joyce's Day by sharing our pictures or videos on social media with the hashtag Seton Hall Given Day. For more information on this event, please contact An Anthony Bellucci at anthony.bellucci.shu.edu. Join the Stillman School of Business, the College of Communication and the Arts, and the School of Law as they present the Symposium on Sports Business and Media Ethics. The keynote speaker will be David Stern, the former commissioner of the National Basketball Association, and opening speakers will include B.J. Schechter, former Sports Illustrated Executive Editor, and Charles Grantham, former Union Executive National Basketball Players Association. The event will be held tomorrow from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. in the main lounge. The Peter Scheim Academic Exposition 2018 has been taking place since Monday, April 23rd until Friday, April 27th in the celebration of scholaristic accomplishments and the academic interests of the entire Seton Hall University community, including both undergraduate and graduate students. The opening ceremony was held on Monday, April 23rd at the University Center Main Lounge. For more information, contact Lori Pine at loripine.shu.edu. Whether you are a prospective or returning study abroad student, this workshop is for you. The Office of International Programs and the Career Center are teaming up to help students learn how to communicate the value of their experiences abroad to potential employers, school officials, and your peers. Learn how to incorporate these experiences and skills during an interview or networking on your resume, cover letter, or graduate school application. The workshop will be held tomorrow from 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. in the Computer Lab in Jubilee Hall. For more information, contact Maria Buzas at maria.buzas at shu.edu. The Center for Peace and Conflict Studies at the School of Diplomacy and International Relations hosts U.S.-China Relations, Trade, Commercial, Diplomacy, and Personal Experiences. A lecture by Barry Friedman with decades of high-level public and private experiences in China and East Asia. Friedman will discuss U.S.-China relations, current challenges, including trade issues between the two countries. The event will be held in the back rooms of the Walsh Library tomorrow from 3 to 4.30 p.m. For more information, contact Gwen DiBenedetto at gwendinabetto at shu.edu. Are you interested in de-stressing before finals? Stop by the Green today from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. and join Hope's Promise Equine Therapy Program as they begin therapeutic as they bring therapeutic miniature horses to interact with students. This event will include mindfulness activities, relaxation techniques, selfies with the ponies, and practical ideals for real-life balance and methods to reduce stress. There will also be raffles and giveaways. For more information, contact Diane Lynch at diane.lynch at shu.edu. And now we'll take it over to Erin Newpower with your five-day weather forecast. Erin? Hello Pirates, my name is Erin Newpower and here is the five-day weather forecast. Today will be rainy with a high of 58 and a low of 48. Tomorrow will be slightly cloudy with some sunshine with a high of 65 and a low of 46. Friday will be cloudy with a high of 65 and a low of 47. Saturday the clouds will be gone with a high of 64 and a low of 43. Sunday will be sunny with a high of 61 with a low of 42. That's it for your five-day weather forecast. Now back to Megan and Christian with more of the news that you need to know. Thanks, Erin. So today, the Wash Library will host Student Tech Bytes Cloud Drives. This session will cover both business and personal cloud drive features and will offer positive tips on how to best use the technological advancements. The event will begin at 3.30 and will last from, for about an hour. For more information on the tech session, please contact William 
Dotsky at william.oski.shu.edu. Join the Department of Biological Sciences as they present the 11th Annual Biological Sciences Symposium. This event provides an opportunity to discuss ongoing research projects being conducted in the Department of Biological Sciences, and both graduate and undergraduate students will present their data on a diverse range of topics pertaining to life sciences. The Bio Symposium will be held tomorrow from 3.30 p.m. to 6.25 p.m. in the atrium of McNulty Hall. For more information, contact Dr. Ed Tall at edward.tall at shu.edu. Planning to become a K-12 teacher in New Jersey? Wonder, wondering how you can best serve English language learners in your future classroom? Well, attend this interactive workshop to collect insights, perspectives, and tips and strategies that will help you. This event will take place at Jubilee Hall in room 460. And for more information, contact Brian Meadows at brianmeadows.shu.edu. And that concludes today's broadcast of Pirate News. I'm Megan Gonzalez. And I'm Christian Castillo. Thanks for watching and have a great day.